Hey everybody, my name is Melissa and welcome back to Hopeful Happenings. I'm attending a writer's conference next week, so I thought it would be really fun to talk about how to pitch a literary agent in person. Here we go! with a writer's conference. A writer's conference is a conference that is for writers to attend and then there'll be agents and editors who will be paneling there. Sometimes even major published authors. Most of the time these conferences will include classes that you'll sign up for which are about writing, publishing, editing, and you'll also have the opportunity if you want it to pitch your book to an agent in person. If this is something you want to do, then here's my number one advice. Research. Research how to write a pitch. Research how to perform a pitch. Research how to do any sort of public speaking. There are multiple sources out there that you can use to help you out. The other thing you want to research is the agent. Just like you have to do extensive research on agents before submitting a query to them online, you also want to do research on them before you pitch to them in person. Know what kind of books they've represented definitely know what kind of books they want to represent as this constantly changes. And if they've done blogs or if they're very open on Twitter, these are things that you can use to your advantage. It not only can help you in conversation, but I think the main goal of doing this research is so that you feel more comfortable knowing who you're pitching to. Because the more you know a person, the more you can gauge whether they are a good fit for your book. Number two, practice out loud. This should be a no-brainer. You're giving a pitch to people in person, not just people, agents, with the potential of one of these agents signing you on as a client if they love your pitch. Memorize your pitch. Practice in front of the mirror. Practice in front of someone else. You can even videotape yourself to see what you like and don't like about how you're presenting. Number three, visualize. Learn as much as you can about what the conference is going to be like, what building it's in, how it's going to look. The more you can visualize the scenario, the more you will be prepared for it. I think with visualizing can come some scary thoughts too. You might look at the conference and realize how many people are going to be there and that might make you nervous or maybe you know which agent you want to talk to and that might make you nervous. So don't just visualize, but visualize with positive thoughts. If you find yourself getting scared about the crowds, for example, then re-visualize those crowds as a sea of friends and writers that you can get to know instead of competitors for a spot at publishing. Number four, positive self-talk. This kind of goes along with number three. This is not the time to think about all your faults in public speaking or your plot or whatever. Force yourself to think positively. Whatever worries you have, write them down and then create the positive version of that. You'll not only think better, but you'll actually feel better physically if you're having positive emotions. Number five, take care of your body. This means go to bed on time, eat a proper breakfast, also dress up, wear comfortable, flattering clothes, do your hair, do your makeup, whatever you feel good in, do that because when you feel good, it shines out. And when you look good, you feel good. So it's like a cycle. I would even put snacks in your bag, whether it's like a backpack or a purse, just in case. And also bring like a notebook and pen so you can write down what just happened when you were in the conference center with the agent. What were the agent's thoughts on your manuscript? The sooner you write them down, the more likely you are to remember. And of course, if you're at a conference, you should probably have a computer or notebook anyway because you're going to want to take notes. Number six, be early. If you're rushing down to your appointment to meet up with this agent, then all that positive self-talk, all that preparation mentally and physically, it's going to go out the window. As you're going to be stressed, your heart rate is going to be up, you'll be worried that you might forget something or that maybe you need to make a last minute change, which don't do that. Get there early. 
if possible, get there really, really early to check out the room where the agents will be doing their pitches. That's one more way that you can help visualize the scenario and feel comfortable with it. And then also when it comes time to your appointment, be there early enough that you can be calm, collected, and ready to go in. Number seven, make a plan. When you're waiting to pitch to an agent, there will probably be other authors in the hallway waiting to pitch theirs as well. So make a plan with how you want to approach this scenario. If you feel like talking to these other people will help calm you down and prepare you, then go ahead and do that. If you think listening to music will help, listen to music. If you think being completely alone, just in the corner with your thoughts will help, then do that too. Don't worry about being rude. This is not the time to think about being rude. This is a time to focus on how you do best. Once again, do not change your pitch last minute. You should have practiced enough that you know exactly what you're gonna say and now you're just waiting for your time to say it. And that's it. Depending on what kind of conference it is, it should be about a 90 second pitch and then pause and let the agents ask you questions. This is a learning experience and the right agent will find you when you're ready and when they're ready. Good luck, I know you can do this. If you've already pitched to an agent before at a conference or had a personal experience where you talked to an agent, then please comment below and share how it went. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week, bye.